Experiment. Explore. Enjoy. Hey, Martin. Hey, Nick. Hi. Great to have you here. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, you collared me earlier and said you must come and check out. Yeah. You have no idea how often that happens, but I saw what you had in your hand. And I thought, yeah, okay, let's have a look. So I, tell me. I developed this. Uh, it's an uh, eight, um, 16 channel uh, analog audio interface, 16 in and out, uh, eight uh, channels in stereo mini chats. I developed this for uh, portable usage. Um, I had the whole need uh, for mobile setups. If you go downtown, you put all your stuff in a backpack and then you had these bulky mixers. And I replaced the mixers before with an iPad and external control to control all the connected hardware stuff. And then I needed an audio interface. And still audio interfaces with many channels are quite big ones. And I had to carry these big ones. So I searched the market. Is there any uh, audio interface in a small size? No. And someone uh, encourages me, uh, try to build your own. <laughs> so I, I, I checked it out and found a company who was uh, doing a very professional chipset. And I stripped away all the unnecessary components for me. No gains, no, uh, no pad buttons, uh, stereo mini checks, so I can get a really small form factor. It's bus powered. It's having 24 bits of resolution. Uh, at uh, 96 kilohertz uh, with a 110 dB noise to signal ground. Uh, this morning even, even uh, Martin Stimming was here and tested me. It sounds great. There's nothing to complain about. So it's bus powered. It's all, you can connect it directly to the iPad and uh, it's powered and you can even go without any electricity. And so we've got connect. audio and MIDI. Yeah, it's also having a MIDI classic MIDI because it's very important to control all your gear yeah. which is sent back. In stereo channels you surely can split up the, the stereos and have uh, 16 mono channels or a mixture of all that. And is it, um, is it DC coupled by any chance? Can you send CV? The outputs are DC coupled indeed uh, but only in a voltage range from minus 2.5 to plus 2.5 volts so it's about 5 Walls, so five uh, octaves. I plan, and this is a clue, the design already um, allows to put this um, out and insert a second layer. Right. So you can, the platform supports up to 32 channels in and out. Ah, so. And uh, if the demand is high enough, I could plan uh, inlay, which is uh, Eurorack compatible. So you have uh, 16 channel Eurorack level in, 16 uh, channel out, DC coupled and additional this classic analog in and out as it has before. So you also could have a bridge between Eurorack level and audio level. Wow, okay, that's an interesting idea. But this is the start. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm a one-man show. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very important to get this known as many as I can produce of them, the cheaper they get. Uh, uh, and you're making it now. Can people buy it now? Pardon? Can people buy it now? No, it's still a prototype, but it's perfectly working and uh, quite near to production level. I'm on the booth to check out if there really a big interest and then I can plan how, how many of the pieces I can do in a batch and as more is <laughs> cheaper, that's the, the business. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So how many, uh, well, have you got an idea of roughly what the cost is likely to be? Yeah, I definitely very optimistic to come below 500 euro, including and if there's a good demand, I guess 400 euros may be quite realistic. So it's class compliant, you don't need any Yeah, it's class software. compliant. Audio 2.0, you can uh, connect it to every door, to every laptop, to Linux. Uh, it works out of the box. It's uh, class compliant 2.0. And what's the, what's, what sort of resolution are the uh, HDs? I mean, are they kind of... They make 24-bit. 24-bit. And what's yeah. the noise ratio like? Is it... A 110 dB okay. signal to noise. But uh, I, I couldn't test this construction uh, at the moment because I got them one and a half week before the Super Bowl. Right, Boot. okay. Have you, and it, uh, is it a, a known chipset? Uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, Texas Instruments uh, in the upper range of the ah, right. so, yeah, they're good, that's ACDs, good stuff. Uh, ADCs and uh, DACs, yeah. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for listening, thank you for coming, it was great.